Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. I'm here with Pat. We're down here at DP Classics. The focus is gonna be this guy today. Is this the most recent build you've completed? Yeah, pretty much the newest, uh, latest, greatest Chevelle, yeah, 66. Yeah. What is the chassis you put under here? Uh, we put a Roacher Shop uh, spec chassis under this thing. Okay. So brand new custom Roacher Shop, you know, the full chassis under this thing. And so L is it LS3? Yeah, LS3, we cammed it, you know, did some work to it. It's got about 550 horse to it. Okay. So it's pretty pretty healthy motor. Totally. Uh, we did a ultimate headers on there. I custom made the firewall, you know, just wanted some different patterns other than the you know, the one bead line everyone else does. Sure. So did that, custom made some engine covers, mm -hmm. you know, put the, put the little Chevelle logo on there. Right, yeah, yeah. You, you know, pretty much took stock under fenders, widened them, lengthened them, made them look factory to accommodate for the new chassis. Yeah, but they really do look factory, huh? Yeah, yeah, they turned out nice. I was, I was happy and then we, I made panels here. Same thing, did the same kind of bead roll to hide the intake and, you know, put the fresh air behind the headlight over there. Yeah, yeah. So what's that mate to transmission wise? Uh, we put a 4075 behind this. Okay. So, you know, nice, nice transmission. We, that's actually a brand new GM transmission. Got it. Same with this motor was a crate motor that we cammed it, did all that stuff to it. Yeah. You know, but this thing just sounds and performs great. Yeah. Like this thing hauls ass too. Does it's, it? Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. The customer had bear on his truck, so he just kind of wanted bears. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think they're good and then I had this uh, company in SoCal make this. These wheels are called Triumph Forged, and uh, I want he, you know, we wanted the brush lip, and you know, I think he he nailed it on the wheels. They look, they look badass. Yeah. And was it six piston brakes? Yeah, six piston all the way around. Oh shit! It is all the way around. Wow. Yeah, the 14 inch bears all the way around, and then uh, got these custom billet mirrors made. They're all 100% billet on there. Billet door handles, you know, kind of matte black. I don't want to, you know, have chrome and just have your eyes stick to it. So I want to just kind of blend in a little no, bit. I'm with you. What is the color? Uh, the color is actually, um, it's a GM color off like a new Corvette. And it looks great. It looks killer. In the sun, the it colors. looks bitching too. Oh, dude, out in the sun, it really pops. You yeah. You can see all the flake in there. Always one of my favorite parts of cars, uh, you know, since we spend time here is the interior. We did this whole car 100% in-house. Paint, body, interior. You know everything to this car and um even the dash we had i had a guy we see and see the whole dash everything is billet in there oh really is it okay to sit in here yeah yeah so the whole the whole dash <laughs> oh my god all that's billet the the housing for the gauges the center ac ducts the glove box and then we you know stuff the vents in there to make it all kind of blend but all that's 100 percent one off billet for the, just this car so we had to hand make all the seats you know, it's just Did like, you start with something that you make a seat from, or is this? This a, is a, actually a Lexus bucket seat. I have like a SC4 uh, 430. And then you cut it down. Cut it down, shaved mm -hmm. it right, because I like the shape and the size of those. But the owner's yeah. tall; he's six three, so I had to shave this, drop the seat down on the floor, and yeah, yeah. You know, nothing on this was a simple build, but yeah, you know, just everything works. Bitchin', man. Well, I, I I think it's time to do the. The part I love, which is put the cameras in, then we'll jump your dad in here, and we'll go for a. Sounds good. We'll go for some drive. That's, yeah, you get um, to see that. You'll hear. You'll hear this thing too. The camera. This. This thing wants to go, and it's it's fun car. car just sounds so good and we're just we're just babying it but he'll boy this car from this seat just feels completely feel how that feel that's what the owner that's what the owner told me So you can see this thing handles like a slot car. 
I mean, from over here, I can tell. I can only imagine how nice it feels from yeah, there. Yeah, very firm. I, I can tell from here. It's got overdrive for, you know, top-end performance on the freeway. So this is everything you want, in my opinion. This is everything you want in a modern muscle car. Yeah. It's fast. It's smooth. Sounds like a hot rod. Definitely. Handles like a slot car. Yep. You know, the so the stance is the perfect stance on it. I mean, the stance sounds just, good. Yeah. Well, it's got, no, you it's guys got air conditioning. It. You guys nailed it on this car. So if she gets up and goes without smoking the tires, you can kind of get the feel for this car. No, it feels like it really digs in and goes. Giant six piston. I mean, so this thing does does everything. Yeah. And I'm and I still haven't been near the floor yet. Loving life having this car. Yeah, this is this is how these cars are supposed to be. You know, it's low, it's fast. Personal opinion, flawless, completely amazing build. Here's some more crazy customs as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.